Okay, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, back here on the detailing on this here stinking Audi. I don't know where my clip is in it, but you can see the seats. They're pretty clean, pretty darn clean. General wipe down and vacuum in the stuff like that. You can see up close, especially. It's needed. This lady has broken pieces. I gotta look in my shop trailer, that one for a stereo. Ooh, I can't open this door. I've got it taped off. So I'm gonna do a video on some other stuff here. And then I'll talk to you in a second. Let me clip some more stuff in, look under this hood. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I did a before. I know I did a before. I don't remember, I took an after yet. If I didn't, this is probably going to be it. Because it is just nice as it gets. And I'm remembering my before and what I showed now. It's been a couple days in between as other stuff goes on. But this is one clean car. If you're looking for a clean Audi Cabriolet, this is the one. If you're looking for detailing stuff, cansoup.com or hipstercars.com. Thanks for watching. I'll clip more in in a second here. Okay, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this video is going to be kind of about trim, bumper pieces, stuff like that. You've got a couple different kinds of materials that they use on this kind of stuff, but as you can see down below there, it's very faded. Now, above the tape is more of a plastic type of piece, and below the tape is going to be just actual, um, like, rubberized undercoating on it, etc. Now, I've got a piece of tape, and I'm actually going to have to get up closer and show you this. I'll show you how to put it on on the other side if you don't know. But this is going to be how to do this without having a bunch of stuff, not even anything to wipe it down with. I've cleaned it, I've degreased it, and now I'm going to spray right over it without even wiping it down with any alcohol or nothing. I'm just going to spray it. That's it. Now I've got this on with a lip on it where I can put my paper towels on. And I'm going to actually set this right here while I do it. Let's see how this works. Newspaper, of course, pretty much anything. Paper towels are cheap, easy with a straight line that you don't have to do anything, you just tear them off at the cuff. From there, just little pieces of tape to hold the stuff out of the way, keep it from blowing off in the wind. That's all you need. And there is a good example for you about how long of a piece you cannot work with. And that piece is just way too huge. Overkill by the guy trying to do this here. Now there's just a quick, easy way to do it. A guy can be more professional. There's honestly all kinds of wind out here, and all kinds of stuff in a shop. It's not as hard to do. Um, it's a really easy ordeal in comparison. And I just said that louder because I remembered I gotta talk louder out here. Everything is more of a pain in the butt when you're not in a shop and you're working on a car. I would know. I get so much more. 
a gun if I leave my phone inside. I tell ya. Hello? Call me at 15 minutes exactly, please. Nice. Okay, that is a bit of taping on this thing. And it's all taped off nice and neatly. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna get to the next part of it. Okay, you've obviously got a lot of choices when it comes to painting this. And Beagle, <laughs> my Beagle agrees. Um, so, I'm gonna give you these choices right now. Number one, you've got a, a gloss, and you can see probably from the lid there even, that gloss is a lot shinier than the rest here I'm gonna show you. You've got a satin, which is kind of the in-between. And then you've got a flat is flat and you can kind of tell by looking at these here lids what you're going to get. Now the flat is the only one this is going to work with really well. And what I mean by that is I am not going to be wiping this thing down all beautifully. I'm just going to be painting over pretty much what you have. And the whole good reason here for this is because not everybody has everybody sit on their sh everything sitting on their shelf to do it exactly right. Now I might get wrinkles and I might get, I don't know. I'm going to paint it like I would anything. Actually I do know I'm pretty good at not getting it all wrinkly and yucky but on this one I like to start at the bottom I'm going to go ahead and pack it up down here quite a ways. Unfortunately, my can's half full. I'm going to show you this right up under here. Look at this. That's what you got. I'm going to take a picture of that. Okay, I'm going to just try and show this as I do it. It's kind of getting at an odd angle here. You just want to fog it in. Very lightly at first. Ever so lightly. Now I haven't even came up top yet. You want to get the bottom parts on something like this first. I think. No, I know. I'm telling you what I think. I know. <laughs> you can come back over it a little bit stronger. It's going to look great. Don't need too much on it. I'm going to get the entire bottom piece done here. Okay, that is the bottom piece and it's looking rather good. I am going to go ahead now and start in on this piece. Um,
can't stress enough. Light coats. Light, light coats. You can see on it maybe even. That's pretty light. And you want to go over the places that are going to need more before you go over the places that are going to need less. And I'll explain what I mean here on the next piece. As I go in between wind gusts here. Now after this stuff back here is dried, you can go over it again. Which is going to make it look great. Now sanding this down with a good, 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 good sanding thing it's gonna make it look a hundred times better. Now what I meant earlier by going over what, let's forget what I said because I don't know. I'll just start from scratch. This here needs a lot more paint and I shouldn't have even touch that. So I did. Um, so hit that part first, but also you wanna kinda of play this stuff up into it to where you ain't gotta go up into that again. Like that, that's now done. So then you hit this up without hitting the top part much as you can see, that's not filling in too fast. And there we go. And once it's filled in, I fog the top part and go to it. But I also go back over the back spot and trail it out as I go. Now I'll probably put a nice coat over this when I'm done. I'm done. You'll see how it looks in a minute. Let me give you some up close here. Actually, always worry about edges a lot. Nice and uniform though. I guess I can give you some curb appeal from across the street for sure. Okay, one owner car guy. Oneownercarguy.com. That's this side, and I'm gonna go for the other side now. Trying to get around here and show you up in a different way. Yeah, buddy. And not a run in it, I'll tell you that. And I'll tell you also, it's probably almost dry enough for me to put my last coat on it now. Um, and I'm thinking very, very seriously about that. So. As I start stop thinking about that and start doing, I'll set another can of paint out here to warm up. looking good man it is looking good I'm gonna let that dry a bit and right along that line I want to hit it again okay to show you again up close here's what we got there's not a run in it however on this side I tried to very very thickly go over this part up here and you'll see as I come down like right in there there's these little specks now it's not a run it's these little specks where likely little pieces of dirt are rising out of it and that's what I was going over and over and over 
Um, I'm gonna go over that again as well. And it's just about dry enough. Now on the other side, I'm not gonna pay as much attention to that. And I'm just going to set it and forget it. Now if you would prep before you do that, you're not going to get the same kind of thing there. But at the same time, and the whole gist of things, it's not going to be noticeable. So that's what you get. I'm going to tape the other side off and jump right into that actually. I see the door open, I thought somebody was standing there. It's like, what the hell? Well, and with that, I've got a phone call. So I can go ahead and turn this off and answer that. I'll be back in a minute. Well, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take this all off and show you some afters. This looks great, though. I um, actually did some lenses on my dually a while back. And then I went ahead and took the video without taking like five pieces of tape off. So I had to do it all over. Okay, you can keep this in one piece sometimes. If you can, do. It makes disposal and such way easier. There's that. Okay, that's going to give you a good idea of what it'll do. And... You can do the top piece also, but I wouldn't use that exact kind of paint. Uh, metal, wood, wicker, and more. Eh. Unless this is specifically for plastics. Make sure you get something that's specifically for plastics. Indoor, outdoor, wood, wicker, plastic, glass, ceramic, masonry, paper, and fabric. Everything but plastic. So it's not going to have any flex in it. Okay, let's see how we got here. You can definitely see the split. It just looks a lot better. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do the other side. And that's that. Get to tape it. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I wanted to. I just didn't like, honestly, well, there you go. I don't like that. I just don't like that. It's nice undercoating that the colors came off of. Okay, I'm just gonna stick this on real quick. Um, wow. I'm going to turn around here because it's just easier for me working from this end. Um, work with whatever works easiest for you. That's all that matters. Okay. Get down where you can see it. Run past it a bit. And just get your first piece on there. Anywhere where it goes in or has a change of elevation type thing it's going to be a little odd to work with, and you'll have to adjust for it. That'll make sense once you're doing it. Once you're started, you can pull this stuff down a bit, but I wouldn't go too far. No more than six inches to a foot. And make sure you keep yourself a lip folded down. Or you're able to put your towels on it as well. Now, coming from front to back could work easier for you. It doesn't matter. And you can even get a different paint that I'm using and hit this vinyl piece up also, which will look different. I just didn't have it, and I'm not going to do it. Using a 
blue or a green cape like this will give you Okay, I think that should do it. I need a roller. Not a rolling pin. <coughs> Paper towels are easy, cheap, disposable. And I use them quite a bit. It's okay, Breeder. Okay, once you get it on there, if you were able to get it in one piece, you're cool. Just get it stuck on there somehow to where it's not dust in the wind. Now this is a real quick fix. Doesn't require any kind of special stuff or nothing. Tape, paper towels, and paint. That's it. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right in and squirt. I think I got a little left in the other can. So I'm gonna try to use it up.
Okay, this side's gonna take a bit longer to dry because um, there's no sun anymore. So I'm gonna leave it sitting here. Let it dry a bit. I'm gonna clip more in a while or something. Okay, I did some fancy paint work on my paper towels. It's dried out. And I'm gonna hit it again with secondary coat. Looks pretty good. It's good to keep the tip the same distance away. All the time. It'll really give you a more uniform. Paint job. I'm done. I'm gonna call it good with that. One on a car guy. One on a car Always do this with your cans. When you're done, and it'll make them spray better next time. Just actually found my lens cover that I thought I was missing. Ching! And I'm done. What a day. What a day. Oops. So let this dry out. It's going to look great. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are, all kinds of stuff coming up. You can see it on my site, onecarguy.com. Subscribe, like, comment, daily videos. That means every day. And there's a breeder. What are you doing, breeder? Eaglespocket.com. I brought her out here farther with me to where she could be by me. <coughs> what? Why do you give me the evil eye? Why do you give me the hey. Yeah. Say, so don't leave me, Daddy. She'll walk right along with me. I'll go back to the house. Okay. Well, one on a car guy, one on a car guy .com. It is Sunday. And I've got to actually get some videos on editing. Would you like to stay out here for a minute? See if you can go potty? I think that's a good idea. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.